as I've said many times before, I like to hook up the drain, uh, the output of the RO first. That is the drain and the permeate out, the RO out. This way, if I hook up the input water supply first and accidentally turn it on, I don't ruin the startup procedure or, or spill water everywhere. So let's do that. The first thing I'm going to do is hook up the quarter inch black drain tubing to this black 2A divider. You'll notice on all Growonix filters, uh, the drain line is always black. And so we're going to hook up our drain line right there. We're going to make sure the flush valve is open. That is parallel to the black tubing. Perpendicular is closed, parallel is open. <clears throat> Let's leave it open for startup. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to use a drain saddle, and it's really quite easy. The first thing we're going to do is drill a quarter inch hole in a pipe. Usually this is the pipe that's under a sink. It could be the stationary sink in an agricultural facility. Uh, usually hooked up before the trap. Uh, and you want to drill a quarter inch hole in this pipe, and you want to drill on the top radius of the pipe. You don't want to drill it underneath, because if this seal uh, were to come loose and seal uh, and leak, rather, you're going to leak water everywhere. So um, drill on the top side of the pipe. And simply drill a quarter inch hole. Don't drill too deep and go through the pipe. That would be a mistake, so make sure you only go in half inch or so. Then we're going to push the drain tubing into the drain clamp. And we're going to make sure it protrudes about a quarter inch, half inch or so. I'm going to loosen up the clamp so it's nice and wide. I'm then going to take this uh, gasket that comes with the drain clamp, pull out the middle, unstick the sticky back, and place it right over the hole so you can see the hole through it. I already have one on there. And just slide uh, the clamp over the pipe. Uh, you'll probably have to undo the bottom and bolt it on. But What you want to do is uh, make sure the tube that's protruding is in the hole and then just push it through. And make sure it's only the tubing is only protruding through uh, halfway. If you put the tubing in too far, you'll feel it hit the other side of the pipe and you could be restricting the drain line and thus uh, offsetting the system ratio on this uh, reverse osmosis unit. So just make sure it goes in uh, about halfway. Tighten up the bolts, and your drain is plumbed in. For this, uh, I'm just going to run the drain into a sink. You're welcome to run the drain into a sink, a basin, any drain around. Uh, you could also run this tubing into the yard and feed trees or shrubs, uh, any plants that you want to water out there. It's a shame to waste uh, the drain water from an RO. Uh, might as well use it for some good use. Now we're going to hook up the permeate line or the RO line, or the filtered water out line. All the same thing, different words. And we're just going to insert it into the ASV, which is the automatic shutoff valve. You'll see the white tube coming from the membranes, passing through the valve this way, and we're going to insert the RO line right there. The other side of the line can go to a bladder tank, storage tank, a reservoir, um, can go to a tank with a float valve on it most commonly, uh, like this. There's a little mini tank with a float valve on it. Uh, for this example, we're going to let it run here on the bench. Now we're going to plumb in the input feed water to this RO. We give you a garden hose adapter to do this with. I'm going to show you how that works. It's really quite simple. You take a garden hose adapter and put it on the male end of a garden hose. You take a piece of 3 8 tubing that we give you in the install kit, and you connect uh, the adapter to the feed to this reducing T on the input to make sure the tubing seats fully past the O-rings on each fitting. We're not going to use a garden hose here. A lot of people like to use those, so we're going to hook up a piece of 3 8 tubing connected to a 3 quarter inch stainless ball valve. So now my uh, this EX400 is plumbed up. I've got the drain water, the RO out, and the feed water plumbed in. 